Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coon Cassius for IFL TV. We are at the Next Gen Press Conference here in London, head of the show from the Indigo at the O2, live on the zone this week, joined by Frank Smith. It's the first time I've interviewed you with your new haircut. What do you think, mate? Just copying you. No, you're really not copying me. I've got hair. I've got hair. No, I mean I've got no. I'm, I'm having a bit of a. I'm having a bit of a moment at the minute as to. Do I just keep it one length all over, or do I go for that, you know, cool fade look? But one length all over is easy for me to just do with a, you know, whereas a fade, I'm not sure I got it in the locker. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm not sure I could self-fade. Try it on Saturday night. What, self-fade? No, don't self-fade. Never self-fade. No, have you ever tried? No, it's not advisable. You need really? to be able to look at the hair rather than look in the mirror. No? That's why I'm thinking it's easier just to, I mean, we'll, let's... Let's carry on. Forget it. Anyway. Uh, well, someone who's a big fan of this fight, Darren Barker, <laughs> Dylan and Bellotti, the British and Commonwealth title fight uh, this Saturday night. Very interesting. Um, Reese Bellotti's like, almost like that Cinderella man, isn't he? In, he had those three defeats. He's come back with three wins, some notable wins in his last couple of fights. But this is going to be one that can't fail to impress. 100%. 100%. It's a... Uh it's a, it's a big night, you know, so it's going to be a great main event. We've got a great undercard as well on there, but Dylan Bellotti, I think he's going to, they're going to go all out. They're going to go out and meet in the centre of the ring, and it's what we want to see. It's what boxing fans want to see. Sold out Indigo, it's going to be great. Um, obviously, on the card as well, Shannon Ryan, John Hedges, uh, Craig Richards, Ibrahim Suleiman. Um, yes, so some of the next, literally the next gen. Yeah, for sure. Shannon Ryan, look, she's uh, fighting for her first title in the pro ranks. She's a great fighter. She built a great name for herself and uh, wants to move quickly as well. You know, she wants to challenge for world titles latter part of this year, and that's what she'll be doing. So excited to see her back out as well. Craig Richards back on, and I've spoke a bit about. He's, I know he's not next gen because he's had those next gen nights and he's been beyond that and he's headlined many nights but the key was to get him active and to get him fighting and this date worked for him so that was the focus for us there John Hedges back out after a long time out the ring as well you know we're very excited about John Hedges we've got to keep him active now he's young but we've got to keep him busy you know he's been unfortunate with injuries um, but that's the focus for us there as well Cameron Thong who is a superstar you know, he's got everything you need to become a star. He wants to move quickly. He wants the biggest fights. Um, and, you know, he's, he's got a, a great fight on Saturday. And then he's got a big fight ahead of him. He's been talking a lot about in the future as well. Um, Emmanuel on the undercard as well. He's making his debut in the UK. Or not his debut, but first fight in the UK, obviously. Um, Jack on the undercard as well. And Ibrahim spider Suleiman, as you say. So, stack card, top to bottom. Huge night in next-gen boxing. OK, we look forward to it on Saturday night. You're like leaning in because you can't. Do you want me to talk louder? Yeah. Oh. Frank! It's got louder in here, isn't it? So, yeah, it's my a lot. Hearing's not, I can't see and my hearing's not very good. You're about 31, chill. Know, like, it's, it's not going right. good, is it? It's not going well. Um, so, Hearn told me yesterday in my interview that he was asked not to do the press conference today and uh, because he wanted. Oh, I'm assuming it was the zone that told him not to do it. Who else is really going to tell Hearn not to do it? Is this accurate or was he just saying that? No, he's. It's a next gen show, right? He's not very next gen, he's 47 years old or whatever he is now. 44. 44, close, I'm joking. Um, and it was, we actually said it last year, he said, you just do the next gen press conferences, I went, fine. And then when the date came up, he went, I'll do that. And I was like, no, I'll do it, because you said, me do it, so I'll just do it. And uh, I think he, he misses it, because this is his life, isn't it? He loves being up there. The well, who told him not to do it? None of me. You told him not to do it. It, was more, it wasn't like, don't do it. It was more like... You did not do it. Of, no, this was a discussion back in the day of, you don't do them anymore. You get me? You told Eddie Hearn not to come. All right, listen, we can move on from that. You can, you can use that as a headline. It's got to be the headline yeah. already. Um, yeah, just a lot to pick through from yesterday, um, which I'm, I know you're kind of... I know people go to Hearn, but obviously you're involved a lot in kind of the process of a lot of this stuff. Let's talk about... Potential power spins, Dalton Smith and um, Adam Azim. Eddie Hearn pleading uh, to Boxer not to stop this fight from taking place. Uh, what do you think, Frank? Does it happen? Dalton Smith and Adam Azim, what a fight. Let's see. I hope so. It's a brilliant fight. It's a, you know, look, it's a massive fight and uh, I'm very hopeful it does happen. But 
you know, it's out of our control. If it doesn't happen, it's nothing to do with us. That, that you know, Dalton Smith wants to fight. Dalton Smith will fight anyway. He's going in against Cepeda, a massive step up. Um, first, they got to focus on what's ahead. You know, obviously, Dalton's got his fight March 23rd. Adam with Ramadan, I think, you know, we all agree. Purse bid's delayed, fine. But that fight from our side will happen. And he said, if it does go to a bid, and he's not bothered about an offer coming in. If it's a good offer, he'll take it. He's already said that. But if the bid comes in, Eddie Hearn's words is double hard. Yeah, but it's also, I was talking earlier, it's not just us and Boxer. There's other promoters out there that could bid for it. It's a great fight. You know, and uh, that's what Purse Bids are great for. It gives the fighters the value. It gives them what they deserve. And uh, hopefully we see it. You can uh, answer both these questions in the same uh, breath, if you like. So, the Conor Ben situation, we know that Eddie said that an offer was sent. I'm assuming you sent it. These offers come from you, didn't they? Did you send the offer not all to of Tank? Them. Not all of them. I don't send everything. I don't do everything. I'm not one of those people that's going to stand there and do everything. Uh, I do some things, not everything. But um, Eddie and Tank get on well. Tank just posts everything Eddie puts out, so I'd rather it came from Eddie than me. But what, he said he was sending the offer yesterday. Do you know if the offer was sent? have to ask Eddie. Okay, he is also almost now ruled out the Eubank situation. He's like, he said that Dazone had been on to him and like, he's still trying to make this fight. We know Eddie has tried for the last couple of years to make this fight. Some things his fault, some things I've not tried. his fault. I've tried. You've tried. I have spent so much time of my life. I hope one day... Yeah, you can talk about this one. I yeah. hope one day it happens. I have tried very hard to make that fight. Have um, you given up? No, I never give up on anything. But... At the same time, I'm not going to lose other opportunities on the basis of that not happening. I still would love to see that fight, but at the same time, we've got to get Conor Ben active in the biggest fights possible. And there's five or six other fights for Conor Ben. I still think the Chris Eubank Jr. fight is huge, personally. Spent a lot of time on it, would love to see it, and I'm hopeful in my lifetime that we can make it. But we're not going to lose sight of getting Conor Ben active. Eddie Hearn has stated that Chris Eubank, in his opinion, or on from your perspective, has overpriced himself in that fight. I look. I'm very happy with what we've offered him in terms of. I think we've gone above and beyond to put together the best possible deal to make it happen. I don't think we couldn't have pushed any more than we did. Um, so, if that answers the question, there you go. All right. Okay. All right. No problem. Um, so. Yeah, just a quick reaction on this heavyweight chaos that's occurred over the last six days or so. Uh, it was off, then it was on, and then, I mean, the whole three days that weekend was quite surreal, wasn't it? Even to see Fury, um, Usyk, um, Igus Klimas and uh, Turkey Al Sheikh, Al Al Sheikh on a Zoom was just crazy. When have we seen things rescheduled that quickly? It's quite amazing, really. For a fight of that magnitude, I'd say never. In like 48 hours, there's, there was on the Zoom, they were on the Ariel Hawani show, and it was all done. But, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those things, it's the sport we're in. People, I think, I was talking about Tyson Fury yesterday, because he talks so much about other people, you have to be prepared for everything that comes back. A bit like, again, I've said it a few times, Sonny Edwards. When Sonny Edwards lost, he knew what was coming after everything he'd done in his career and said on his Twitter you know it's uh, when you're a personality that's outspoken and very vocal about other things like David Hay and Tyson Fury you've got David Hay now coming out and saying what Tyson Fury said about him what 10 years ago so like it's the game we're in it's, uh, it's all part and parcel of it but it's great to see it back rescheduled it's a massive fight we wanted the undisputed heavyweight championship for a long time and um, yeah let's get that get that on and then AJ gets all the belts at the end of the year AJ and Garno. That's first, March the 8th. Uh, just before I let you go, sum up AJ and Garnu in five words. Massive, unbelievable punch up ring. I don't know. I ran out of words. Punch say, up ring? I meant to say in the ring. Punch up in the ring. There you go, that's five words. Oh, it's a hyphen, isn't it? Punch up. Is it? So it's only Whoa. one word. No, you said amazing, unbelievable punch, punch up, up in the ring. <laughs> yeah. Way to finish. Well, anyway, thank you, songwriter over here. Smith, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. We'll catch you um, tomorrow at the Wayne and then also Saturday night live at the O2 at the Indigo. Thank you, Coogan. See you later. Indigo at the O2.
Indigo at the O2, live and exclusive on the zone Saturday night. See you there. Sweet. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.